Oh, you decided to click on this video. Part two, how to actually grow the size of your shoulder muscle, the muscle growth portion. This is where I hit supersets and science optimizers hate supersets. I don't get why optimizers hate supersetting so much, dude. They're viscerally angry every time I mention it. Supersets are optimal. What do you mean they're not optimal? It's a superset. The only thing better than a set is a superset because the way I do them, it is undeniable. You're talking to someone whose shoulders were legitimate garbage. And now it's the, probably the question I get most of, how do you grow your shoulders? How do you grow your back? How do you grow your chest? But it's always shoulders first. It's always shoulders first. And I kid you not, it's just because of this framework. I tried every different style of shoulder training, everything. And until I landed on this off my own accord, it was just me just playing around in the laboratory, baby, because that's where we're at. It immediately, made a hell of a difference. And then at that point I was like, oh my gosh, I've really landed on something that's awesome. Giving it to other people who can't grow their shoulders no matter what, and their shoulders get big. And then everyone's like, dude, look at his shoulders, man. He has to take steroids. If you want steroid acquisitions, then I highly recommend you stick around because that's how it happens. A lot of times people see the shoulder veins, they're like, dude, that's impossible without, I'm gonna teach you right now. I'm gonna set up the next workout and I'm gonna show you guys a controversial one because everybody hates this movement, but I love it. So I'm gonna set it up with weight that's not ridiculously heavy, right? Because I already did my strength work and I think this is where a lot of people really miss the boat on this stuff. And that's just not the way it's done because you can be super smart about it. Probably wondering why are you grabbing those two dumbbells? Well, these ones are too light and I'm gonna show you guys how I superset. So most people that superset will do antagonist muscles, which is like chest and back uh, superset. They'll do a bicep and tricep superset. You have the idea. What I'll do is I will superset the same exact muscle that I'm working. But even more specifically, when we get into anatomy, I'm gonna do the behind the neck press, which based on my experience, I find that that works more the side delt, more than anything else, and the rear a little bit but it's like secondary. It's almost like if I were to press, my triceps are involved technically, but it's a chest exercise. And that's how I look at it. It's more of a mid delt exercise. So what I'll do is I'll superset this with the behind the neck press that everybody hates. Just use common sense. Obviously in your head, if it's uncomfortable and you're like, I don't like this, then don't do it. There's way other different ways of doing it. I just found the most efficient way of growing the side portion of my shoulder, like in a compoundish movement. So I like it. So I'll do is I'll do a compoundish movement, which is behind the neck pressing, and then I'll superset it, usually standing, but I'm gonna see because I don't wanna move the damn tripod, but this works just as fine. Because the formula and the framework is so tight that it doesn't even matter that much, to be honest with you. That's why it's such a cheat code. Because what I'll do is I'll superset it with side lateral raises. So I'm supersetting the exact same specific part of the muscle back to back. And a lot of people are like, what that doesn't progressive overload, dude, don't complicate the game. You're overloading the muscle. Obviously it's simple. A lot of this stuff is so simple. That's why like my philosophy sounds stupid, simple. And it's like this guy, I make people uncomfortable with the way I talk because it's an industry of just like complications and you have to need this app. You have to download this app to get into shape. You don't need any of that. You just have to know what the hell you're doing. The more you know what you're doing, the more simple it is. That's the funny part. You have to go through all this complicated stuff to come out with the simplest answers on the back end. It takes a while to arrive at those. You have to go through the details. You have to go through the nuances and it's irritating. But once you find it, it's stupid simple. And that's why you're lucky you're here. I'm not saying that because I'm the sale be all and I know everything. I just know what I'm talking about in this regard because it's not just work for me. It's worked for several other people I've helped out with. You superset the same exact muscle and I promise you that muscle is going to grow. It's not complicated. That doesn't mean, well, no, science literature says that. Read all your studies, that's fine. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. My guys are probably gonna keep doing what they're doing. Probably continuously grow, probably continuously get stronger, feel better, feel more vital. Versus the guy who's just sitting there just looking at the numbers and he looks like he hasn't seen sun in years and you could see it. Like it's just, you have all this muscle for what? Why else have muscle? So you could just be maniacal about it. That defeats the purpose. The point of it is that way, what I do inside the gym is meant to make me better outside of the gym. A little bit of a side tangent, but regardless, let's get into the super set. So I'm gonna start off with this and you guys know it's muscle growth. So what I'm gonna do, and I actually wish this was straighter, but screw it. 
this is just to illustrate at least. And notice I keep my elbows tucked in, like I'm not flaring them out. The cadence is me getting inside the muscle. As soon as I feel, especially on these, a little bit uncomfortable, I'll rack it. See? Failed, no questions, bump. Get right into it. Now I'm coming out for partials. Oh my gosh. Come on, man. How anyone else does any different way of training is besides me. It's so efficient. That was one set. Look at me, man. I'm absolutely gassed. I literally now in my head, by the way, when it comes to rest times for muscle growth, I know a lot of people are finicky about this stuff. Start using your damn intuition on everything. Intuition can be practiced. It's like a muscle. You'll get better and better at it. In the beginning, are you going to suck at it? Dude, you're going to suck so bad at it. It's going to be awful, but you'll improve. It's just probably like the first time you're to do anything like play piano. If you guys play piano or whatever, you're going to suck at it in the beginning, but at least the game you're playing and improving on, on the back end, it's seamless. You ain't got to think because now in my head, all I'm doing is waiting till the moment I know I can get quality reps. That's all that goes in my mind. When is the alarm bell ring off where it's like, I can get quality reps. I will purposely try to cut it short, even though I'm ahead, I'm like, I'm not ready for it. Just to get my biology breaking a little bit. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but like just to force my output where it's like my body's forced to adapt. But if I'm only doing it in like getting half a rep, that's just a complete waste. You know what I mean? I still want to get quality reps. I want to give myself ample amount of rest time to then be able to give an actual value effort to the set. I feel like if you go too soon, you're almost bowing out because you all know that deep down, like, oh, I can only do two reps. and I'd rather do that tired than go fresh again and really take it back to failure. It's all a mind game. As crazy as it sounds, you know, like don't bow out. Just like listen to your intuition. Like, you know what? It's time for me to go. So like for me, that time is now. I'm cutting it a little bit short, but it's just to kind of illustrate a point of how your reps kind of look when you cut it short. See? Doesn't look bad at all. I do try to go full ROM on these where I come up overhead and almost lock out, but not for too long. Do you guys ever get hiccups while you're lifting? What the hell is that? I'm getting hiccups while I'm lifting. Jesus, dude, these freaking shorts are hiking up. Too short anyways. Haram. Oh my god, dude. Lock it in. Oh my gosh, dude. That is painful. Usually I do like to stand up for like lateral raises. I'll also do another weird one where I'll go behind the butt. A lot of people are like, that's so stupid. I don't get how people get so bothered by stuff. First off, you've never tried it. Secondly, it's a gnarly exercise. Pump doesn't indicate muscle growth. I know all of your guys' tricks at this point. I can assure you, if blood is rushing to the muscle and I feel excruciating tension onto the muscle that I'm trying to target, that is targeted stress, which is going to grow my muscles. You're overcomplicating it. Stop taking studies and pretending like you don't have an idea of anything. Science is an assist. It's not your life. And we all know this. The scientific experiment is basically trial and error. And there's no such thing as people talk about practicing medicine. Why do you think they say practice? Because it's a practice. 
it's not a one size fits all rule. You could ask anyone that's in science. This is coming from someone who is gonna go into medical school. I know how all these experiments work. I took Ochem, you know? Like I get how it all works, like research lab and all that stuff. You guys get too much into the weeds on it. You'll be surprised at how not dialed in a lot of these studies are. A lot of them just want funding. That's the truth. They just need funding for a project, so as long as they show something going that way, they'll get funding from the government. Fun fact, crazy. I'm not saying that's what hypertrophy studies do, but my point is, is it's a study. It's all person to person based. What I'm gonna accomplish in my life is gonna be different than person B. And what person B accomplishes in his life is gonna be different from person C. Which tells you that we're all kind of a little bit different. There's some fundamental rules I think we should all follow for sure in terms of like whether in fitness or whatever. But this shit is at the end of the day, like you know deep down what's working you double down on what works. Even if I were to tell you something and you're like, I hate this and I tried it, why would you continuously listen to me? Not on anything, but like that subject. Like, I don't agree with him. That's healthy. That's a good thing. You should be doing it that way. Test it out. Rami, I know you say you don't like this exercise, but I really like it. Dog, run it. You double down. Just because I said something, it just means it didn't work for me and probably a lot of people that I know. But dude, you're probably the anomaly that exists, you know? Like a lot of times we're like, well, this person it worked for, so it has to work for me. Not how that works. Let's get into the third set. Took too long of a break. Let's get inside this muscle, baby. Make it count. Why are these shorts hiking up? Come on, man. Sorry about that, guys. That's, that's just disrespectful. Slow down, slow down. Woo! That is what muscle growth set looks like for me. I'll do the same thing for the front part of the delt, and I'll do the same thing for the rear. No difference, it's the same fundamentals. Superset the exact same muscle. And I promise you, it doesn't matter how stubborn your shoulders are, because mine were stubborn, they will grow 